guys, it's Sophie, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time, and I feel terrible because this summer when I came back, I was like, I'm going to be back on the YouTube game, and I was. For a while, I was. I put out quite a few videos, but um, I started my new job at the beginning of August, and that's kind of when things went downhill. Like, I don't know, I don't like my job. <laughs> I mean, I like the pay because it pays decent and it's eight hours a day, which I'm learning I can't do eight hours a day. I hate being trapped in a cubicle for eight hours straight in the same building for nine hours straight because I eat my lunch there too. It's just, it's a mess and I've been depressed over it because I want to find a job I like, but I don't feel like I can quit right now because I want to save money up. But yeah, so I'm just giving you a little life update quick before I do my makeup. But I promise I'll do my makeup just in a sec. I just want to update you guys. And we're still not in an apartment yet because the apartment we liked, the whole application process has been really stupid and slow. So I'm sad. But then again, we might move because I hate the weather here. It's like, it's literally October 5th and it's supposed to snow. What? I love fall. Don't take fall away from me. Fall is not snow. Fall is pretty leaves in 50 degree weather. Not 30 degree weather and snow up to my butt. No thank you. But anyway guys, so I am just struggling and when I struggle I don't want to film because I don't want to film when I'm not happy. I don't want to put out content where I'm not happy. And um, I'm doing better today. I feel okay today other than the whole snow thing that might happen. But I'm feeling okay, and it's fall time, so I'm going to take advantage of that. So I'm going to be doing a fall makeup look, and it's always my go-to fall look. And the thing that makes it fall is my eyeshadow and my lips. So I think for everything else, I'm just going to speed through it, because you guys have seen me do my makeup a lot. So I'm just going to kind of speed through um, the rest of my makeup, and I'll just show you the products I use, and I'll speed through that. And the song I'm going to put as the background is always on my mind by my boyfriend Solomon Carlson so if you want to download that song I'll put a Spotify link in the description if you want to you know if you like the song and if you want to download it so yeah but anyway so I'm going to show you everything I'm going to use for my eyes and my lips later on because that's the only part of this look that makes it more fall than other makeup I do so I'm going to just kind of hold off on that almost dropped my lipstick that would have sucked but yeah, so the products I use on my face that I'm just going to speed through, um, I always use my e.l.f. primer. I already put that on, so that's done. And then what I use is, I can't talk today, is my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 110. I always do the dewy because I have like sensitive dry skin, so I never use matte. I always use dewy. And then I do the Fit Me um, foundation. Oh, this is the matte. I, I've never found, not foundation, oh my god, powder. I've never found the the foundation in like dewy form. It's always matte form. But 110 again, I use that. And then um, for my highlighter and my blush and my bronzer, I use this Pure palette. It has all three. And then for my eyebrows, I do the Goof Proof by Benefit. Oh, and then I forgot. I use this as my concealer, the Maybelline Age Rewind Stick. And then I have all my brushes over here. And yeah, I would just speed through me doing my face makeup because you guys have seen that all the time but I wanted to show you the products I use because I get questions on it sometimes so there you go Maybe I don't mind Cause as soon as they make 
nothing left for me to find. There's not a way that I can give more. You're on my mind. A promise laid upon the table. One that I want. Okay, guys, done with my face makeup. Um, and by no means am I like good at makeup. I don't do these tutorials. It's not even a tutorial. It's just my go-to fall look. And this is what I do, so you don't have to like take my makeup advice too seriously. So if you're like in the comments like you did this wrong on your makeup, please just don't, because like I I know I do makeup wrong. But anyway, this is just what I do. And I am realizing that I have not done one of these videos in a long time, and my back is killing me. Because every time I do my makeup, I stand up. I don't ever sit. I only sit when I do these videos. And I'm not used to it. Oh my god, my back is dying. <laughs> but anyway. So for my go-to like fall um, eyeshadow look, I always do like this color Real Gar. Can you guys see that? I hope you can see that. <laughs> and then like I'll do that in like my crease. And then for my um, <clears throat> my base, I'll do like this like burnt orange color. I hope you can see that. <sighs> and then kind of in the middle, I'll take my highlighter again and I'll like kind of like make it sparkly and same with the corners and then I'll also like because in the middle I'll also do this that one's kind of broken I have two of them because I forgot that I bought them so one of them's newer and I should probably use the newer one right I don't remember which one is the newer one they both kind of look not great because I don't I only would use them in fall so I haven't used them in a while but then I'll use this NYX Vivid Brights and yeah I'll just kind of play with them because this one's like a cream and the other two are a powder so I'll just kind of play with them to get the result I want, but yes. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I don't even really like this brush. I never really use it. I don't throw it away because it came with the um, Reticence palette by, um, let's see, by who again? By Anastasia, if you want that or you're wondering. Um, I'll just kind of take, and yes, these are Hocus Pocus brushes. This is Sarah. They're amazing. I love them. But I'm going to take that burnt orange color, and I'm going to just put that on my lid. Okay, so I have that burnt orange color on my lid. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crease brush and I'm going to go into that real dark orangey color. It's a little bit darker than the one I just did, but I do like the orange colors. I just think that's pretty. So I'm going to tap off the excess and do my crease quick. Okay, so I kind of did my crease there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my blending brush and just make sure the crease and the lid look alright. And yes, I realize that they're similar colors, but I don't like to do my crease too much darker. I kind of like it to all look the same, I guess. So now I'm going to just kind of rub this back together. What is it called? Glam Pop? No, Rock Glam. It's called Rock Glam, in case you're wondering. I'm just going to put it in the middle of my lid. Okay, so there, that's on there, and then I'm going to take those colors again that I showed you in the Modern Renaissance palette and kind of like blend it back together. I don't know why, I should just start with this, that would make more sense. But I never do, I always like do that, and then I do that, and then I add more. So maybe that's not the most efficient way to do it, best way to do it. <laughs> So then I get this like pretty orangey ready color. I don't know how to explain it, but it kind of reminds me of like a pumpkin. Not as orange. It's a little more red than to be a pumpkin, but it still does. So I do that 
And then I'm going to put the lid on this. Oh, I need to do that. Um, then I grab my highlighter. Um, I don't know, I like to use my highlighter in my eyes too. So I'm going to take my highlighter color and put it on my finger and kind of put a little bit of shimmer back into the middle of my eye. Okay, I might have done too much. I should have done a little bit less. Oopsie. But we'll blend it back out. Alright. So I'm going to blend that back out because I just want some shimmer, okay? I don't have like an orange shimmer shade. I wish I did, but I don't. So we have to use what I got. Because I'm trying to save money and not spend a billion dollars. So I'm just going to blend that back out. But now the problem is I did too much. <laughs> so I'm going to go back into my Modern Renaissance palette and kind of get that orangey color back on there because I put too much on there. So now it's not as orangey as I would prefer. But that, you know, that was me being stupid. You can totally skip that part if you want to do a makeup look like this. You know, just skip all my stupid parts. Almost put myself in the eye. Ow! <laughs> okay, and now it's orangey again. I'm going to take this little brush here and I'm going to dip it into my highlighter to do the inner um, corner and then under my eyebrow bone. You might not like it, but I like it, and it's what I do as for my go-to fall look, eyeshadow, whatever. But yeah, so that's that. I'm going to have to wash this off at some point, right? <laughs> I hope it will get on my white sweater. So what I'm going to do now is just do my mascara quick. I'm thinking I'm going to speed through that or even cut it because you guys have seen me do my, eyes, my eyelashes a lot of times. But it's the Maybelline Last Sensational because that's just my go-to mascara. So I'm going to do that quick, and then I'll do my lipstick. Okay, so now I have my eyelashes done, and the thing I always do for fall is a berry lip. Like, duh, how do you not? And this is actually a weird one. I actually got this color from New York and Company. It's called Crimson Street, and I don't even know if we have a New York and Company anymore where I live. I think it closed down. But it's this really, like, pretty berry color, and it's just, like, a little crayon. So sometimes it's hard to, like, line them, I guess, but I don't have a lip liner this color. So we're just gonna wing it, and we'll see. first berry lip I've done this fall and I'm not used to it I'm so used to my like pinky nude color I always do so this is like crazy to me kind of messed that up there oops but yeah so as you can see it's just this berry color very it's very pretty haha <laughs> so funny uh, not actually but you know so that is my go-to fall look and I gave you a little life update because I feel really bad that I hadn't posted in like a month life's interesting right now. I'm not really sure where God's taking me. I'm not really sure what he wants me and Solomon to do. If he wants us to move, if he wants us to stay here, if he wants me to quit my job and get a job I actually like. I don't really know. I'm a little confused, but I wanted to film today because I was feeling okay. I wasn't feeling as down as, like, um, as I have lately, so that I'd film and take advantage of that. I also changed my closet today to all my fall clothes, so that made me happy. I have a bunch of sweaters now, and I bought a, a bunch of new stuff, so a fall haul is coming your way. I'm going to film that right now, and I'm going to post that as well, so keep your eye out for that, because my hauls actually do really good. Like, all my hauls get the most views on my channel. Like, that's what gets the most views on my channel, so you guys almost like hauls. But yeah, so that's coming up. And here is my go-to fall look. And I'm gonna take my hair down because I don't ever want my hair up like that. I just like don't. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having an amazing day. And remember, if you wanna check out Solomon's song, I will have that link down below. And yeah, 
Remember to like, comment, and subscribe and have an amazing day. Bye! You are always on my mind, always on my mind, always on my mind. Oh, you are always on my mind.